What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step by step tutorial. Today, we're going to show you just how quick and easy it is to start a numbered list at a certain particular point. It'll make sense, I promise. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. All right, let's get the timer. We got 60 seconds to show you this and talk through it. So let's say you get a list of 20 best things. You want to group them by like things like ice cream and football teams. And you got like three ice creams. You're ready for football teams. You want to go like number four. And you're going to go, you're going to go four. And you're going to say, you know, Carolina. And you're like, oh, no, what happened? Okay, well, you're just going to go back here. And you're going to say, you know what? Let me use this new feature. New feature. It's called start list at number and we're gonna say number four ba bam and then we say carolina and then we say carolina you did it all right so let's slow things down a little bit let's talk about what actually transpired here besides me sounding like i had a complete meltdown don't know what that was all about i digress okay so basically this is a new feature for the text web part on your site pages so basically it's like this let's say you are keeping track of some things and you want to do like several sets of numbered lists but you don't want to restart you know like so if I go here and I say all right let's start over at one it's it's cool with that you know it's sweet but if I say you know let's continue that and I don't know why I keep doing that but it keeps happening we'll say four and okay well yeah we'll fix the bold and the underline nope no see come on there we go uh so we say four space and we i mean it doesn't give us the automatic deal okay so the update to the text web part gives you this little drop down here a little another another section for list options uh and you could say start a new list which you could do that just by pressing one and enter or start list at a particular point so we want to start at four we say four enter and now we can do our listy 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 now there are some other things that go along with this like for example if i go to the little drop down or I just switch to bullet bulleted list I meant to hit the drop down if I go to the drop down I have styles now we can go with the disk it's the default apparently or circle or square ooh don't all say ooh and ah at the same time or you could say yeah there you go uh yeah that is pretty slick and those are some updates you may or may not have those updates if you want to know how to get those types of early updates, it's the targeted release program. You'll have to go into your admin center uh, and you'll flip that switch. So I would tell you the exact path, but we'll save it for another video possibly. But that's not really SharePoint. So you may have to work with your admin. Um, it It is SharePoint. However, the setting that needs to be adjusted may not be accessible to you if you are not a global administrator. So you have to go into the uh, admin center and look at your organization settings and uh, either set up targeted release for the entire tenant or you can add people to be targeted release so that you get all the latest and greatest stuff with SharePoint uh, typically before it rolls out to the general population so there you go enough about that please like share subscribe let us know what you think let us know what you want to see because without you there is no sharepoint in 60 seconds so thank you for your support until then remember sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time i'm a sharepoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands because i gotta use them for work yeah i'm a big old nerd i like maple syrup all my pancakes i don't care what you heard